Good morning everyone, my name is Ayron Rizki Pratiwi. Today, I'm going to talk about reverse culture shock. What is reverse culture shock? The frequent reaction to coming home after studying abroad is reverse culture shock. It's a moment of emotional and psychological readjustment comparable to when you first move overseas. Symptoms might range from feeling as if no one understands you or how you've changed to fearing that you lose a piece of your identity if you don't have a way to explore new hobbies that you discover while traveling. Returning to your normal routine at home might be tough. If the feelings continue, consulting a psychologist may be beneficial. Reverse culture shock is comparable to the culture shock you may have experienced when you first travel overseas, except it occurs in the other direction. It may take some time to adapt to a new culture, just as it did when you first moved there. Reverse culture shock happened to me. My house is in the farthest Sub district in Brebes district. At the same time, I was studying in Yogyakarta. The city of Yogyakarta is one of the largest cities in Indonesia and the fourth largest city in the southern part of Java Island by population. When in a big city, traveling with a helmet is something that is very natural. In addition, it is indeed mandatory for a rider to obey the rules of the helmet. Using a helmet can prevent the risk of serious injury in the event of an accident. This is already in the laws of the Republic of Indonesia. While in Jogja, I was very used to going everywhere using a helmet even though the distance was close. Then, after a few months living in Jogja, I came back home. When I'm at home, there are times when I have to go outside. So. I went with my father to go outside at the time. At first, I already sensed something was strange. I thought something was left behind. Until finally, after 10 minutes of driving, I realized I was not wearing a helmet. I was so panicked. Then, not long after, several motorcyclists who were not wearing helmet passed. At that moment, I realized again that I was not in Yogyakarta. In here, many people use helmets only on the driver or not at all. Even I know this is such a common thing to encounter, I still found it weird after in Yogyakarta, I was used to wearing a helmet. The awareness of the society where I live to use the helmet is still very lacking. They tend to not really care about their safety. So, that's my experience of reverse culture shock. Things that used to be considered common in my home became strange in my eyes. Thank you.